Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to quickly change your radio settings on the fly in Microsurveys Field Genius. So to begin here, I just have Field Genius open, and I've connected to my Rover receiver. And if you look in the bottom right corner, you can see that I don't actually have a solution. It just says that I have a DGPS no link, and I can't actually take a fixed solution here when I click on, click on the menu. So if I just close out of this and bring myself back to the map screen here, uh, there's one simple trick I can do to change my radio settings and, and fix this issue for myself. And to do that, I'm going to head to the top right corner there and hit the wrench, screwdriver, and three switches, which is going to bring up my instrument settings menu. And I'm going to want to choose my third option on the left there, link configure. And that's going to bring up my link configure menu, which is the same uh, that you see after you set up your base or after you connect your rover. And this menu just allows me to quickly get to it instead of resetting up everything. And if I just hit press to set up here uh, next to device setup, this is going to bring up my radio settings that my, my receiver is currently set to. And in this case, I'm sitting on channel 452. And my base that I set up earlier before I started this video is actually sitting on 450. So what I'm going to want to do is change that channel and make sure all the settings in this menu match the one on my base. And when that's complete here, I'm just going to hit OK in the bottom uh, left corner there. And that's going to save those settings to my receiver. And once it's done that, I'm just going to hit Connect and uh, set up my rover. And when that's complete, you should now see that uh, on the map screen here, I actually have a fixed solution and I can take a proper measurement now. So this process is not actually just limited to my rover. I can also do this on my base. Uh, the one thing to keep in mind is it's a lot easier to mess up changing the radio settings on your base and accidentally stop or change your base position. Um, so for, for most changes, I would recommend doing them on the rover first uh, and try to match it on your rover before you go fiddling around in the base if you already have it set up. And that's all for today's video. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or anything you've seen on this YouTube channel or on our website, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit our website at bench-mark.ca.